everyone and welcome back to my channel. This week we are in Boston. Oh gosh, I'm back in America. I'm back in Boston. I love Boston. It feels like my second home and I am so excited to be spending a week here. So I thought in this video that I would share with you kind of what I got up to in my week in Boston. So behind me, I am staying at the Colonnade Hotel in Boston's Back Bay. I'm gonna do a dedicated hotel room review. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It's free. All it does is notify you of new videos that I come out with. All right, so it is now Monday afternoon. I'm done with work for the day. And sadly, it's pouring rain, but I do have a great dinner booking for tonight. I'm seeing a very dear friend at one of my hands down favorite restaurants in Boston, the Oak Room, um, or I guess now it's called Oak Bar. It used to be called the Oak Room. It's in the Fairmont Cobbley Hotel and it is stunningly beautiful. And what I love about it is it is kind of a fancier, buzzier vibe inside, but they have kind of a mix of tables that you can reserve on open table that are kind of like lower level, like lounge tables. They have some high top bar tables and they have some really amazing counter seating right at the bar, which is kind of first come first serve. So I do have a 6 p.m. dinner booking. I do recommend booking before you go because this place, even on a Monday rainy night, it is booked. So yay Boston, um, but I'm super excited to check it out. Hey guys, it is now Tuesday and I had so much fun last night, a little bit too much fun. Done with work for the day, it's almost 5 p.m. I'm gonna go over and see my old neighbor for a little quick one hour catch up and then I've been invited to a friend's place for dinner but I thought what I would do because I'm gonna be in the Back Bay neighborhood and walk from Back Bay to Beacon Hill so I thought I would share with you a few of my favorite Back Bay spots. So if you're like me and you love to go for like a long walk when you travel then I would highly recommend walking the streets of Newbury Street, which we've talked about, but then also Commonwealth Avenue. In the middle of that is the Comav Mall. So it's basically just a fancy term for a divided highway with a public park and walking path that runs throughout. There's some stunning like multi-million dollar luxury homes that line kind of Commonwealth Avenue, we call it Com Ave as Bostonians. And then parallel to that, you have Marlboro Street and Beacon Street. I love Marlboro Street. I think it's my favorite street in Boston. Beautiful brownstone walk-ups, nice architecture, a very kind of quiet, um, speckled with sunlight and shade kind of residential street. So I thought I would do a little bit of the walk along the Comav Mall, a little bit of the walk on Marlboro Street as I walk down to Beacon Hill, just to give you a flavor and a suggestion of a couple great streets to walk if you're into architecture and you wanna see a beautiful and different side of Boston.
today it is Wednesday and it is sunny and gorgeous out so I decided what better way to spend the afternoon than a late lunch and a little sunbathing at the rooftop pool at my hotel the colonnade so going to the rooftop pool is free for hotel guests and I had a very yummy like turkey bacon avocado cheese lettuce wrap um, just with some water um, and then after I was done eating I laid out at the pool for about 45 minutes because as you can see I am very pale I burn easily and I was about boiling hot by that point so now I've just come back to the room cleaned myself up and I've got a couple errands to run so I'm gonna go bop around and do that hey guys it is now Thursday I am done for work for the day and you know what I need coffee number three. I'm dragging a bit. So I'm gonna get a coffee. I've gotta run an errand or two, but I really wanna go take a walk down on the Charles River Esplanade. It's one of my favorite spots in Boston. And although I did have a booking at the rooftop pool for this afternoon, I just thought, gosh, you know, I haven't moved all day. So laying by the pool, while well, that would be fun, probably better to get a little bit of exercise and wouldn't it be great to see another beautiful part of Boston. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna film some footage so you can see what the Charles River is all about. It's another one of my great walks around Boston kind of must do's. So come join me. So after we last saw one another, I was going for a walk along the Esplanade, which was fantastic. And then after that, I had a dinner at Buttermilk and Bourbon, which is a Southern food restaurant in the Back Bay on the corner of Dartmouth and Com Ave. It was fantastic. Now this is not the place you go for a healthy meal, but it is the place that you go if you love Southern indulgent cuisine. So we started with the biscuits on the advice of our server. Oh my gosh, they were fantastic. They come with pimento cheese or like a cinnamon butter both of which are very good and I recommend you try it. And you get four biscuits in a serving and there were only two of us, so we were only eating one each. Then we had the fried catfish with potato salad. Now, the fried catfish was great, as was the potato salad, but it's weird that the fried catfish is served hot, whereas the potato salad is not, but we still enjoyed it. Just calling out the comment that we expected the potatoes to be warm and then they weren't, but that makes sense now that it's potato salad. Um, we also had the southern fried chicken and we went with the hot, um, the hot dry spice rub, which is the spiciest option. We didn't think it was that spicy to be honest. Um, we just thought it was really good. So if you're on the fence about spices, uh, you could give it a try. And then what else did we get? We also got the shrimp and grits, which was fantastic. That was actually spicier than the spicy fried chicken really good great mix of like shrimp peppers grits really great comfort food 
We did actually also get the beignets for dessert, which I thought was good, but I thought it would come with like a chocolate dipping sauce and it came with more of the cinnamon butter. So I would say that maybe next time I would ask for that. Um, for cocktails, I had a watermelon tequila cocktail, which was refreshing and fantastic and perfect. A great mix of tequila and watermelon together. And my friend had this blackberry bourbon cocktail, which he also said was amazing. We sat outside on the side patio, and I would actually recommend that over the main patio, which is in front of the restaurant. It was quieter, perfectly shaded, and just on a hot day in Boston, Perfection. Hey guys, Jessica from the future here. I just wanted to wrap up my Boston travel vlog. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I love the Back Bay neighborhood in Boston. I used to live in this neighborhood when I was there, so I really hope that you enjoyed seeing a few of my restaurant recommendations, as well as some of my favorite kind of hidden gem spots for a great walk. These are very much more kind of like some locals spots, except maybe the Esplanade, which I think everyone knows about, but still some of my favorite streets and areas for a stroll. So really hope you enjoyed that. I do also have another Boston travel vlog about walking from the Back Bay all the way through the city of Boston to the North End, which I will have linked down below, as well as my hotel room review on the Colonnade Hotel linked down below. And as if that wasn't enough, I do have a free guide to Boston, which I will also leave linked down below, which lives on my blog appropriately named the Savvy Bostonian. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Ooh, look at that, sunlight in London, yes. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video and you wanna see more of my travel adventures, I've got some really great videos coming up. Please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It really helps tell me which videos you like. And leave a comment. Have you been to Boston before? Do you have any great recommendations of places to stay, eat, visit? Leave it all in a comment. Sharing is caring here on this channel. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in, and I will see you soon.